cracking YouTube, Jim, aka the Flippin' Pappy here. So today I thought I would kind of give you a behind the scenes of how we list things. Um, maybe it'll help you to understand eBay a little bit. You know, maybe I can answer some of the questions you have about if you're just starting out on eBay, you need to know how to sell something, how to find a price, how to take photos, whatever it may be. I figured this would be a little insight to help you guys. So follow along, watch the video. Maybe you'll learn something. Let's check it out. All right. So now this is from the last haul from last Monday that you've seen. And I figured I would show you what we do to actually list stuff to find its prices and things like that. So basically we open up the eBay app. Right. So now usually you have the UPC here. Sometimes you might have to actually put it in because the UPS, UPC, not UPS, um, won't even come up. It, for whatever reason, some people don't even use it. But we're going to try that first. So you just hit your little camera right here and then you scan it. Now, as you can see, these are listed items. All right. Something I did forget to mention is when you are searching for uh, stuff, and you actually look at the bottom, it'll tell you how many is listed. Like here, you have 10 listed. And then when you do sold and completed, um, it'll tell you how many actually sold, which here is 62. And that's a very good sell-through rate. So that's definitely a pickup there. So that's what everybody has them listed for. Brand new, pre-owned, $49.95, free shipping. So what you want to do is you want to go to filter. You want to scroll down. And you want to click both sold items and completed items. So this will tell you what actually sold. So the last one, April 12th, uh, new other, sold for $49.94. Uh, the last pre-owned sold for $29.99 plus $319 shipping. Another one sold for $49.99.83. So this here was a great find. And it's just a Blu-ray pre-owned. So we're looking at 50 bucks free shipping. So we should make probably around $42 on a, a $2 DVD, I think. Or a, a, not DVD, a Blu-ray. So now how we're going to do it to actually list this is first what I'll do is I like to set everything up to make it look nice. So when I uh, do the DVD or Blu-ray, first off, I'll, I'll put it like this just to kind of, you know, help it stand up so you can see. And then I go in my uh, camera, which is actually my wife's camera, so I have no idea where it's actually at. There it is. And then I will, in my photo, you want to get in a square mode. Like, that's the best thing for eBay. So then I will find a nice picture. And I'll take that and then I'll open it up a little bit so they can see inside what's in there. I like to show them exactly what they're getting. And then I'll take that and then I'll take the actual Blu-ray out and I'll put this up here like that again. And I wanna make sure, and as you can see, it's nice and clean. Really no marks on it. So definitely very clean and that's a good thing. And then I'll put it up. And then I'll take this. I want to make sure that's behind it. And then I'll take a picture of that. And then I'll turn the disc around and try to get the best angle. So you can see that there's no cuts or anything on it and then when I'm done there then I'll go to another app that we have called photo room and so then I'll start from the photos and I will pick one of them now what I'm doing here is I'm getting rid of the background and then I'll go down and find the best one eBay but now you see there it's doing that so what I'll do is I'll look for something that doesn't do that which 
which that's pretty good there. So I'll, I'll use that and then I'll save that. And then I'll do the another one, the next one. Now photo rooms free or you could pay for it. I'll try eBay. eBay's good. So I can use that one. Um, and you get like all the stuff that they have. And then I'll do this one. And again, I'll do eBay, which is good. And then the last one. And then that one's good. So now I know you're thinking, well, you got that uh, logo on there. Yeah. So what we do is we open up our photo. We hit edit. We hit the little uh, pen thing up here. Markup. Markup, yeah. And then we have it on the marker and it's white. And then we just scribble that out. It's kind of cheating, but we're cheap. <laughs> <laughs> and then the same thing, you just want to clean it up. Oh, that's all right. Won't bother that. They won't even notice. And then the same thing. And that's it. And then so when you're ready, then you go back to eBay. Say you have one here that you want. So this one 49, so we can click it. And then we can just hit sell one like this. And then this is where we add our photos. So we can Add all the photos we put in. And then done. And then here we can put in all the required stuff like new, Blu-ray, etc. sub, you know, whatever you can figure out. Now don't just go and put not available, doesn't apply. If you don't know it, don't put it. Just make it simple, and, and if you can put it in, release here, you want to put it in. Franchise, if there's a franchise, put it in. But if you don't know it, don't put it in. And then you go down. Now, the starting bid is 23 if you wanted to do an auction, but we're going to sell one. Online trending price is $40. If you look, you can see what they actually sell for. Again, $43. And like I said, some have sold for $49. So you want to try to keep it on average so we're just going to go 49 done offers we're going to allow offers done and then we're done up there and then we'll go and weigh it figure out the thing which the envelope will be a six by nine um, the weight really won't matter six by nine one and then we'll say probably about six ounces done and then it's media mail and we're going to do free shipping now. Free shipping just because it's $3. And then we'll do local pickup. Done. And that's pretty much all you do. Now you want to put in a description. Talk about the disc. Say, you know, if it has scratches or, you know, if it's like new. You know, whatever you need to do. So that's pretty much how you make a listing on eBay. I hope this helps you out a little bit. All right. I hope you enjoyed that. I just wanted to kind of show you a little bit on how you actually list. Now what you did see, I did miss a little bit. And what I was trying to say is that when you scan it or search it and it comes up and it says, say, five listed. Okay, there's five listed. But then you go and you go to uh, sold and completed and 62 of them sold in three months. Now there's five listed and 62 sold in uh, three months, 90 days. That's an excellent sell-through rate. So that's definitely something you want to pick up. So now say if you have something else you scan, and it scans, you know, there's 100 listed. And then you go and you do the whole sold comp and stuff, and only two have sold. Now in three months, only two have sold. That's not great. So you want to try to get the stuff that sells quick, you know, a week, two weeks, you know, even a month. But when it starts sitting for three months and stuff, then it's, you know, the, the likelihood of, it selling is pretty pretty low because you gotta compete with how many ever's out there so i hope this did help you out a little bit you know like i said i'm trying to get 
better at doing these videos. You can see sometimes I stutter. Um, but hopefully we'll, we'll get through it together and I'll be able to give you guys some good content. But if you enjoyed this video, please comment, obviously. Thumbs it up. Subscribe would really help. And if you guys would share it, that would be awesome. Check out all our links down in the description. But this has been Jim, a.k.a. The Flippin' Pappy. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.